Hello, welcome back. You've been around for a while or welcome if you're new. Today I thought I would just share a brief grocery haul and then get into a somewhat funny and or traumatic story depending on who you're asking or if you're asking me when you're asking me. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. get up to too much that was interesting this weekend we pretty much took it easy so I thought I would just start this video by sharing the grocery haul we really didn't need too much um, I did want to get some items to add to dinner we needed a few more vegetable options and I needed snacks for Ani so this is what I got this week's haul is in two parts this is the inside part let me show you the outside part real quick all right so this is the outside portion we finally got through our last pack of pizzas again breakfast treat for Probably Friday. Cheese ravioli, these skillet meals, the fake chicken Florentino. Potatoes, sweet potatoes with broccoli cauliflower. This is really good with eggs, it's like a frittata almost. My girls prefer their veggies with cheese sauce. So I got a broccoli with rice and cheese sauce, and a broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower cheese sauce. And then the classic mixed veggie that I throw into just about everything that I make. So this is it for the deep freeze. And then back to this, um, it's sort of a weird mix of food. That's because they had a lot of sales on things. For everything I had outside and in here, I only spent $63.37. Let me show you what I got. I finally had some of my waters in the cans. Ani has been on a huge banana kick. This is the only fruit I got because we still have some apples from last week. She needed some more milk. These were on sale. I think these will be good car snacks for her. Again, I like to stick with fairly low choking hazard in the car, but she's always really hungry after school. I got Lauda and I some everything bagels for breakfast. We needed some eggs. I got Ani some peaches and apples. Lauda requested ground beef, so I got her that. She was also due for some more conditioner. I finally found vegetarian baked beans. We have a really hard time finding these. Pretzel twists are for me during the day. We needed more ketchup. If you have a toddler, you know. We needed some more razors. Lauda needed some more mini Cokes. And then these were also on sale and I thought Ani might like them. Um, I don't know if I'll use them in the car or not, but they really don't have too much sugar. It's only four grams of added sugar. Um, so it'll definitely be a treat. She won't get them every day, but I think she'll really enjoy those. So that is it. Obviously, since I'm under budget, I'll probably run to another store later this week because I have some weird ingredients, but we had enough left from last week that I don't have to go out if I don't want to, but I might. Like I said, sort of a weird, miscellaneous, random assortment of items, mostly snack items. Again, I think I talked about it last week. We're in the car a lot right now. We're still trying to nail down this new routine. So having some quick on the go options for Ani is awesome. Um, but leaving that aside and moving into the story time, what prompted me to even think about this story was last week, Lauda got her second Pfizer vaccine and I got my first. And I think I've talked about it before, but I am absolutely petrified of shots, needles, all of that stuff to the level where it's like almost a true phobia. Um, if I have like forewarning I'm going to get a shot, I prefer to have some Xanax just to take the edge off. Plus in the moment it helps me not fight whoever is coming at me with whatever vaccine I'm getting. Um, COVID shot went okay for me. It was very spur of the moment. They were taking walk-ins. We actually just took Lauda to get her second. And when we found out they were doing walk-ins, I just went and got it done and not having time to spend like perseverating on it and really thinking about it really helped my anxiety. But at any rate, um, it did remind me of probably one of the worst reactions I've ever had to a shot. And that is between my freshman and sophomore year of college, I had a TB test and I had a terrible reaction to it. So I'm gonna share the story. All right, so some pertinent facts to understand is at the time, I was very convinced that I wanted to be a medical researcher, particularly for childhood cancers, as a career path. Um, I was, you know, going to be a biology major, I had already taken a lot of the prerequisite courses, and luckily, very luckily, I got an internship in a medical research lab researching childhood cancer between my freshman and sophomore year of college. and. So happy I got that internship because it really opened my eyes to the fact that that was not the career path for me. That's a whole other story, but because the research lab was affiliated with and attached to a children's hospital, I had to get a TB test to work there. I had never had a TB test 
if you've never had one most often they just put like a little I guess injection in your arm to see if you react to it knowing it was a needle my mom decided to throw me a lifeline she's a nurse and she was able to have a friend administer it to me and the way we decided to do it was I was supposed to be driving home from college for the summer that day I'd had a, an exam in the morning and then I was driving home that evening so I was just gonna drive straight to where she worked and we were gonna do it there so obviously college finals I'd spent most of the night cramming and like any great college student I'd been procrastinated packing so that morning I took my exam rushed back to my third story non air conditioned dorm packed everything up took it all down to my car by myself and then drove the like four slash five hours to my mom's office all while freaking out about knowing I was gonna get this shot so all of that to say by the time I actually got there the state of anxiety I was in was very heightened um, our routine typically when I get a shot is to try to get like a Xanax or something because it does help not necessarily mentally like I'm still really anxious but physically it helps my body stay calm however because of all the driving and the last minute nature we weren't able to do that so we did some Benadryl instead I wasn't gonna drive home my mom was gonna drive me home um, so I took the Benadryl and my mom was able to get me <laughs> it's like a cream they use on little kids that you put on the site of like where you're gonna get a vaccine it's like a lidocaine and it topically numbs you my thing with shots is it's not the pain it's the idea of knowing something's like in my body that really freaks me out so as I'm getting ready to do this and like waiting for the cream to start to numb me I'm like you know heart racing jittery can't hold still it feels like I'm having trouble breathing basically a panic attack without being a full panic attack um, her friend comes in to do it she does it I do relatively okay for me um, you know I didn't fight too much I think my mom maybe sat on me to hold me still but you know cried a little but for the most part I, I held it together pretty well um, and I was filling out the paperwork about the date time my name and that she had done it in my left arm and I passed it back to her and about this time I noticed when I was writing I was having trouble like concentrating my vision felt a little blurry and I just felt off. Normally after a shot, I just feel really tired from the adrenaline dump, um, but I just felt wrong. And at the time I couldn't really figure out why. So I hand the paper to the nurse for her to sign it. And she looks at it and she was like, oh no, did we do it in your left arm? And I didn't answer, my mom did for me just before I could say anything. And she was like, yeah, why? And the nurse was like, oh, it has to be the right arm. And it was just like probably a half a second and in that half second, I felt like at the time I was having a stroke. I couldn't hear right anymore. My vision was now very blurry. I felt awful. Instead of like a racing heart, I couldn't even feel my heartbeat. Um, basically, I think what was gonna happen is I was gonna pass out, but I had never passed out, so I didn't know what that felt like. And in this half second, my mom's nurse friend was like, ha, should have seen your guys' faces. Totally joking, left arm's fine. And my mom and her get back to talking while I'm just sitting there. And like I said, I'm really starting to notice like, I felt at the time like I was having a stroke because I could hear them talking, but it was almost on like a delay. I could see their mouths moving, but it wasn't matching up to what I could hear. And as they're talking and I'm experiencing these symptoms of, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm dying. And I'm now realizing I can't even talk to ask for help. Like three more nurses walk in to talk to my mom. So now I'm in a room with five nurses I feel like I'm either having a stroke or dying and nobody realizes that I feel off at all and as they're talking I start you know all the symptoms I already mentioned are happening and now I feel like I can't even feel my body so I'm fully freaked out finally one of the nurses was like um Alice that's my mom Alice is your daughter okay and from my mom's perspective she said when they looked at me I was like unconscious like my eyes were rolled up basically I had passed out um, I don't remember that that way, but I'm sure that's accurate. <laughs> um, so they got me some lemonade, propped me up, cooled me off. It, you know, within like 15, 20 minutes, I was back with it. I was fine. <laughs> she, was, she wasn't really annoyed, but she's a nurse. She deals with needles all the time. My siblings, for various reasons and health things, have had to deal with needles their whole lives. I'm the only one like this. Um, but yeah, and she took me home that night and I think I slept for like literally 24 hours without waking up because the just extreme fear and anxiety and then like the dramatic drop, I think in like blood pressure and heart rate immediately afterward, basically, call, basically caused what my mom at least called a vasovagal reaction. 
it's not totally unheard of, um, particularly at like the sight of blood or needles for somebody who's anxious about those. But hands down, never lived that down. Um, definitely my most extreme reaction to a needle, always. And now that it's happened once, I'm always worried it's gonna happen again. So when I went to get my COVID shot, obviously I had to walk in by myself. It is in this massive room. There was probably 200 people scattered out. I mean, everyone was social distance, but you know, getting vaccines, giving vaccines. I was so worried something similar was gonna happen to me when I got the shot. Thank God it didn't. It Honestly, as far as shots go, you really can't even feel it. So I didn't have that freak out because I couldn't even feel it in my arm. Um, but yeah, just a funny story I thought I would share and just a, some proof that when I say I'm scared of needles, I am like legit scared of needles. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hope the story made you smile or laugh at my expense. Obviously I see the humor in it now. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye.